By themselves, corrugated steel culverts are not capable of supporting heavy loads such as soil and vehicle traffic. When these loads are applied, the steel culvert deflects outward at the sides. If the culvert is not restrained from deflecting, it will collapse. However, when supported by proper backfill material, the culverts are able to support the loads placed upon them. This is because the surrounding backfill material provides restraint against deflection. Steel culverts are technically referred to as thin-walled, flexible, buried structures. They are typically installed on stable but relatively yielding foundations. Backfill provides a load medium and prevents excessive deflection of the pipe. With good quality, well-compacted backfill, this system reaches a state of static equilibrium. This phenomenon is referred to as soil-steel interaction, the key to a culvert's strength. To illustrate the load-bearing contribution backfill makes to a soil-steel structure and the importance of good compaction, three simple tests were carried out. The first test will show a culvert under load with no backfill material. Take a plain can, open at both ends, any can will do, but for this test a coffee can was used. Set the can on a layer of sand to model a culvert on a typical foundation. Commence applying the loads. Noticeable deformation takes place at 7 kilograms and complete failure occurs at 28 kilograms. For the second test, the can has again been laid on a bed of sand. Now this time, backfill is placed around the can. It is dumped loosely and no attempt is made to compact it. This simulates a culvert which has been installed with poor quality or poorly compacted backfill. Backfill is placed to a depth of one diameter or 130 millimeters. Commence applying loads. Almost immediately, a deformation of 5 millimeters takes place. Now, this is due to the sand settling and becoming compacted. Continue applying loads. Initially, movements within the sand and deformation of the can are irregular and unpredictable. The rate of movement decreases as the sand becomes compacted under the loads. The test is stopped when the applied load has reached 200 kilograms. The deformation of the pipe under this load is 20 millimeters, or 15 percent of the original shape. A culvert experiencing this amount of deformation would be considered to be approaching failure. In the final test, to simulate a properly constructed culvert foundation, the sand is placed in thin layers and each layer is thoroughly compacted. Loose bedding sand is pre-shaped to match the invert of the can. Its purpose is to ensure uniform contact between the bed and the corrugations of the bottom plates. Backfill is placed in an area called the haunches. The haunch area is subjected to high stresses, so extra care must be taken when placing and compacting this backfill. The remainder of the sand is placed in thin layers and compacted until the final elevation is reached. Loads are placed and again the test is stopped at 200 kilograms. This time, no noticeable deformation takes place. These simple tests illustrate the significant contribution good backfill makes to the load-bearing capacity of a soil steel structure.